let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey guys, I'm out here on my WR250R for some fucking supermoto action out here. <laughs> yeah, I love this bike, man. I tell you, this bike's getting quicker. But, um... But in this video, I wanted to, uh... I want to talk about engine seizure. It's something very serious that can get you... Ha set you up for a real fucked up day out here on the streets. Uh, I'll tell you guys, it happened to my late brother back in the day when he had his Honda CBR one, excuse me, CBR 900 double R back then. It was back in like 1994 and shit. And which was an amazing bike back then. Still a great bike. But, um, yeah, he was on the highway, man, hauling ass and his bike, his engine seized and it ejected him from his bike, dude. It, it uh, locked up the rear wheel and, uh, but that dude was so lucky, man. He, he never got hurt on his bike, dude. Check this out, dude. We got the motorcycle Santa Claus. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome, man. But, uh, yeah, he was right. Yeah, he was on the highway, man. Hauling ass and it fucking seized on him. Rear wheel, slid, fishtail, threw him off his bike. But he was, he got back up. No scratches, nothing, no broken bones. He was good. Scared the fuck out of him, though. But I'll tell you guys, there are warning signs before you get an engine seizure. That's something that I want to talk about in this video. I did some research on it. Never happened to me, and I hope it never does. Uh, one thing, there's two possible, there's two reasons for engine seizure. You know, obviously, there's probably some other reasons, but the two main reasons for engine seizure is overheating and there's no oil lubricating the engine. I don't know if it loses oil or whatnot, it'll seize up, or if it overheats. So, you know, if you're riding, and also it, it'll lose, one big warning sign is that it will lose power, and it, it will be overheating. So you definitely wanna keep keep tabs on your engine temperature, and, uh, and if you feel any power loss and you see that, that temperature going up, get your ass over on the side of the road and uh, get you a tow because because that could set you up for a fucked up day um, but if you get caught where you're not paying attention it's overheating and losing power and you're, you're just got ride out here like you don't have a care in the fucking world uh, and that engine seizes up on you while you're riding and it locks up the rear wheel, the first thing you want to do is grab that clutch, pull that clutch in to disengage the uh, the engine. Uh, disengage that clutch, man, so that fucking, it'll free up that rear wheel. Definitely want to do that. And you're gonna have to, don't panic and go all crazy and grab a brake or front brake and, cause that'll cause you to crash, you know. Just take it easy, pull the clutch in and try to, uh, just coast your way out of it, you know, or just uh, and obviously get your ass on the side of the road as best as you can and uh, call for a tow. I know it's some serious shit, man, and um, that's why I tell you guys another reason to get a new bike. These, these people would have to go slow as fuck. Now, come on, man. Shit. At least do the speed limit. Come on, let me get a clear path so I can get, get around. See, I tell you, this bike moves out of the car's way, dude. It'll help you overtake a car. But anyways, yeah, fuck us. Uh, that's what I tell you guys, man. It's really better to just get a new bike because you don't know what the fuck somebody did to their bike uh, before. They could have just beat the hell out of that bike and it's ready to seize up at any time. And uh, But if you are going to get a used motorcycle, definitely take it to a, a mechanic and have them do a full... Uh, like 100 point inspection just take it you know get in there in that engine have them run some tests see what's going on do a compression test uh, that's definitely something that needs to be done if you're going to buy a used bike 
But really, in my opinion, man, it's better to pony up that money and go ahead and get you a, uh, a, a new bike. Or like me, get last year's model, the previous year's model, and save a bunch of money. I saved like $5,000 on that CBR 1000 RR. And I saved about a couple, about a thousand or fifteen hundred on this bike by buying the previous year model new. And that way you get a new bike, you know, you know, it's unmolested. And uh, so, hey, but hey, you guys do what the hell you want to do. It's your business. Like I told you, I like new bikes. And I did a video talking about how it's like a virgin to me. <laughs> how you got to pop that chair, you got to work it in. And uh, I know some of you guys took offense to that, but I was just joking. As usual, you guys take that shit all serious. If you want to see that video, though, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video if you want to see that. People go slow as fuck, man. But hey, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, CycleCruiser.com. Click on my videos. And I got over 550 plus videos. Uh, and uh, all categorized into different playlists. Hope you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. Like, hit thumbs up if you like this video. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, take care. Share this video. And to share it as many people as you can. Maybe it'll help save their life. Uh, you know, engine seizure is not something to be playing with. And people have lost their life because of it. Uh, Joey Dunlap. If you don't know who Joey Dunlap is of the Dunlap family, he uh, freaking lost his life in a race. He was halfway, uh, I think it was like halfway through the race or something, and his, his engine seized up, man. Threw him off his bike, he got ran over, or got hit something, and he died. And that dude was a champion, man, a world champion racer. I mean, he won that, uh, he won the freaking, uh, what you call it, Isle of the Man a bunch of times. So, uh, engine seizure is no joke, man. So, uh, yeah, share this video. Let's talk about it. And uh, leave some comments. I appreciate all you guys. Take care. And until next time, deuces. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click to Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.